Oh boy, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what we're doing, so I guess that's gonna be the... Well... Okay, I gotta talk to Lee in the hurry. Ah, uh, that's what we're doing. Let's get the heck out of here. I guess uh, my man kinda came in and figured some stuff out, my, my big boss. So let's just get the ever-loving heck back to Lee, because we uh, evidently are not out of the woods yet. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. So, I think I mentioned last time, not being happy. Uh, and you know, dude, why are you coming up to me right after I come out of the freaking place? I'm, I'm back up to neutral, guys. I'm no longer unhappy. Still a bit confused, but you know, no longer unhappy. Just kind of wacky. He needs drugs. <laughs> Don't we all, pal? Um, but hey, there is definitely upside. And, uh, you know, the downside is analogous to the upside. So in terms of cost-benefit analysis, there's a... Uh, I might be net zero in terms of what has happened to me in the past couple weeks. But you know, it still kind of sucks a little bit in terms of like unwilling upheaval of life plans, but you know, I felt the same way when my girlfriend broke up. So, uh, and that was honestly, well, it kind of depends. Uh, I'm pathetic when it comes to romance. It's because I'm an INTJ. That's right. I'm gonna bring up the isn't that the Mar Briggs test, sixteen personalities. I was talking to one of my buddies. He's also INTJ, He's the architect. I'm gonna refer to it as such from here on out, so that I don't sound like a, an astrology wacky girl. Um, even though it's honestly not much better. What are you gonna do about it, drunk? Anyways, but yeah. So did I did I miss something? Where am I going? Oh, there's a bridge. Perfect. How about I walk down uh, here? Oh. Well. Hooligans. Oh, well, you know what? I guess they're Yakuza. Yeah, right. They're Yakuza. Boink, boink, boink. Boink, 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 boink. And you know what? Just because I can, I'll dance on them. A lot. Ow. They didn't let me dance on him too easily. Boink, boink, boink. I know, I could stand to not just say that over and over again, but what are you going to do about it? Curb Stomper? Nice. Yeah, I'm not like you guys. I'm not like you. Which is... I didn't need to say that. Who the heck is this? Hey, would you want to join my cabaret? You look like you're plenty dressed for it. Anyways. <laughs> I'm actually right. Hey there, you look like, uh... You've got the look. Wanna work at a cabaret club? Oh, jeez. What are you doing standing by the river behind all of the buildings? I don't know if I trust that, but, you know... We're really desperate for workers. So, whatever. Oh boy, another group of people that wants to get their butts kicked. Perfect. I don't mind. Ow. God, this guy is a lot shorter than I am. So this shouldn't even really be bad. Ow. I don't know how it didn't, like, I didn't... Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, maybe switch to something with a bit more oomph before I just completely get taken down. And, uh, that too. Goodbye. I wonder if there are, like, specific places in this game where I can, uh... Nope. Ow. Sheesh. Where I can get my health back. Because I'm honestly concerned about the whole not having my health bar thing. 
Oh, wow, okay. That works, too. I guess it's, um, go to the freaking store and, uh... <laughs> wow, this guy's like, hey, you want some tissues? I know you just got out of the fight, but have some tissues. I'm gonna go to the stove, I suppose. Uh, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe? Is this a store where I can buy... Um... Dude, I don't want to see this. Come on. Please let me into the place where I can buy things that will make my health not be very low. I stocked up on a bunch of crap as Kiryu, but Majima is... Majima is low on uh, other stuff. Please tell me that there's like a point to some of this. Ooh, red king crab. This place really likes crab, I gotta say. I like crab a lot too, though. Definitely gonna take one of these. Absolutely. Please tell me I get my health back. Yes, I do. Very nice. Big fan of crab. Um, but like heck, I trust the crab that I can get around here. Pretty sure... I can only get, like, imitation crab around where I am. It's a consequence of, uh, living in Texas. The greatest state of all time. But, uh... I'm not the closest to water. I'm not as close to water as I, as I used to live. Unfortunately. I can't wait until I say enough that people can completely triangulate my position and come harass me physically. Uh, but, you know, there's always just being, uh, menacing enough guy to not be easily harassed so you know I'm just gonna work out a lot I'm gonna keep working out boink and I'm also gonna dance on you just know that if you try and figure out where I live this is what's waiting for you in my house and me dancing on you and I'm definitely not gonna use the thug stuff because I am, I'm not a thug. Okay, maybe I will. Okay, maybe I won't. Ow. Boink. <laughs> okay. I always miss the quick time event on that. Boink. There we go. Perfect. Wow. Guy did a full flip. You're welcome, dude. That's like the coolest thing you've done in your life. Anyways. Back to Lison. Whatever the guy's name is. I probably should be thug more often. And, you know. Unfortunately for all of y'all, Majima has a, there's mutual exclusivity between thug and shaker. There's a... The, yeah, that, that didn't go over very well, <laughs> as a joke. Hey, Lee Song, how you doing? Mm. One Piece? Finally! Uh, anyways. Yeah, nothing to report. Very nice. Uh, I might have something to report, though. Um, we're screwed. Painkillers. Doc from Mahjong Jambalaya asked me to get it to you. You don't really need them, though. Interesting. Uh, they're probably poison, and there's definitely a tracker in the bottom. Who is Phone Guy? I believe his name is William Afton. But that's just a theory. So, you know. <laughs> Anyways. This is all happening because people are after me, right? Yes, you are the problem. That's alright. I don't expect you to be able to help much, if I'm being honest. I- okay, I was about to make terrible jokes again. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Uh, guy on the phone was their boss, went by Nishitani. Runs an outfit called the Kijin Clan, asked me to hand you over. And then, I told you exactly where he was. I mean, I told him exactly where you was. Anyways. 
I beat his ass. That was the last episode. You should watch it. Yeah, just kidding. Nobody gets this far in anyways. Especially not anybody that hadn't watched the first episode anyways. Let's be honest here. You're kind of going out of order, aren't you, pal? What are you even doing here? Nishtani the Naver. Uh, perhaps. Yeah. Sounds like it. Pretty sure he's uh, wise to the fact I did not uh, kill this girl. Not that we need the blind one to talk about this. To hear about this, I guess. Get out of Dodge, pal. They're getting wise. Um, yeah, probably. I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. No, no, no. You know, I don't remember exactly why that's the case for Manima, but, you know, that's, uh, tough titties. Let's get the heck out of here. Very nice. You might want to change into something else. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I knew it. I knew those pills had some kind of tracker. He said, he's going to say, I'm sorry, my friend. I had to. What did you teach him, Lee? You told me. What you told him? What did you tell him, huh? Oh, great. Ah, come on, dude. Great. A bunch of hobos. That's not great. These guys don't look like your ordinary hobos. These are some friggin' Tachibana real estate employees. Oh boy. Yeah. Nah, this is the, the Japanese, the village people. <laughs> I'm the construction worker. I'm the policeman. I'm the leather man. <laughs> oh boy, that didn't seem unintentional. Oh boy. That's super not good. Well, hey, you saved me some trouble. Watch the girl. I'm gonna beat the heck out of them. God, that guy's wacky. Alright, well, the baseball bat's gonna bit a. getting a bit of blood rust. Wait, hold on. Thug. Thug style. Um, thug style can disarm people, can't it? I really, you know what? Yeah, whatever. We're gonna start out in thug style just because I'm already in it. But, oh my gosh, I can pick up the couch. Hold on. Hold on. Ow. Jeez. That sucks, dude. Why would you do that to me? Boink. Boink. Oh my gosh. That's a friggin' one hit right there. Ha. Ah. Hold up, let me give it the knife. And let me just, uh, ka -chow. Okay, where did the knife go? Oh, there it went. We found the knife. I don't know how exactly the uh, disarming thing works for the thug style, but honestly, this is flashy and entertaining enough that I don't know if I mind. There we go. A nice heat action. Okay, let's just hit him with the baseball bat. 
Boink. Just a couple times. For good measure. And then I'll just, you know, punch him. See, it all worked out, just as I said. I'm so good at beating the crap out of people. Wow, we should get you to a, uh, a doctor. Um, oh, well, maybe. Anyways, we should get you to a doctor. <laughs> Is anybody here a doctor? <laughs> Anyways, can't even use the money you get. What an idiot. <laughs> El Bozo. Let's get the heck out of here, though. If I leave him like this, he's gonna die. What, did you take the Hippocratic Oath or something? Come on. I... never mind. You're a pretty good guy, Lee. Much better than me. I break him and you fix him. Seems to be the way it goes. More often than not. <laughs> what? Not getting out of the city on foot. We're going through the sewers, boys. Just look the other way, Makoto. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, boy. Your man Lee's meeting up with us in a minute. I'll be keeping you safe. Definitely keeping you safe. Definitely going to be keeping you safe. Hopefully you're not going to be keeping me from using a payphone, if you know what I'm saying. I'd love to save the game before saving uh, your life. But that depends entirely on what the game will allow me to do. Not sure, truly. Well, looks like I'm not going to be allowed to do all that much. This really is the village people. Hell, they went down like the. <sighs> okay, <never mind. laughs> Boy. Uh, you come here to fight or not? If you think you can stop me? It'd be really funny if these guys just, like, decided not to fight. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of these, huh? How about this? Hey! Get your hands off the lady! Excuse the heck out of me, pal! Yeah. Ow. You see, it's a good thing this baseball bat just goes right through her. Because otherwise, she might not be having too good a time right now. Hoo hoo! Top gear? Nice. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. And by let's get the heck out of here, I mean, boy, I wish I could save the game. Guess that's not happening. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. God, feast your eyes on this, Makoto. Oh wait. Well, anyways, I'll 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 describe it to you later. Um, you know what? I guess this is gonna be a two for two recordings in one day. Oh well. Yeah, you'll be standing for this one. Anyways, we'll figure that out in the next episode. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to beat you over the head with a baseball bat. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.